The DRDO has announced that Tejas Light Combat Aircraft has successfully tested the fifth-generation Python 5 air-to-air -air missile, and the Python 5 has now been added in its weapons capability. The Python 5 is manufactured by Israeli firm Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, and it integrates fifth-generation electro-optical infrared imaging seeker, advanced infrared counter-countermeasure, and is powered by a solid propellant rocket engine that provides a speed of Mach 4, and has an operational range of more than 20 km for close-range engagements. The DRDO has said that the trials were also aimed to validate enhanced capability of the already integrated IDERBY missile, which refers to the IDERBY Extended Range Missile that features software-defined active radar seeker, and has a range of more than 100 km. In a significant development, the Indian Air Force has approached the French government to lease one A330 mid-air refueler for training purposes, and this is seen as a precursor to lease five more mid-air refuelers to increase the radius of its multi-role fighters. The leasing will be done on government-to-government -government basis, and the Air Force has already issued a request for information for a single refueler, while a request for proposal will soon be issued for the lease of five additional refuelers. Hindustan Aeronautics has also started working with the Indian Army on basic requirements of the Army variant of the Cats Warrior drone, that will have different mission profiles and weapons packages. The Army variant will be smaller than the Air Force variant of Cats Warrior, and it will not team up with the Tejas Mark I command aircraft, and instead it will be controlled by mobile ground controllers. Hindustan Aeronautics is expected to conduct the first flight of Alpha S Swarm UAV system in 2022, and the Army might also procure these drones as part of its Cats Warrior program. Along with the Arjun Mark 1A tank, the Indian Army is also assessing the capabilities of the recently upgraded BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles in desert terrain, and officials have said that it has hit the targets successfully and proved its relevance. We had reported in February 2021, that the Ordnance Factory Board had delivered 33 upgraded BMP-2 vehicles that comes with night fighting capabilities, a 7.62mm medium machine gun, a 30mm cannon, and a second-generation anti-tank guided missile, that makes it highly capable to target all kinds of low-flying objects and ground-based targets. Under the $120 million contract with Israel to procure 16,479 Negafel MG under the fast-track procedure, the Indian Army had received the first batch of 6,000 units from Israel in January 2021, and as per latest reports, Israel is expected to deliver the remaining 10,479 units next month. The Indian Army is also expected to start the trial for the procurement of 41,000 LMGs under the Make in India initiative, in which the selected Indian company will be given 18 months for transfer of technology from the original equipment manufacturer and to establish a local production facility in India. Former U.S. Ambassador to India Kenneth Chester has said that Biden administration might have decided internally to issue a waiver to India when the S-400 system is delivered in November, but the Biden administration prefers not to announce the waiver, mainly to avoid other partners considering the purchase of the S-400 or other Russian equipment. The U.S. could invoke the CATSA sanctions, but will deliberately select five sanctions that will have little material impact. The Indian Coast Guard has conducted successful sea integration of the newly inducted Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III on one of its ships in Chennai. The Indian Coast Guard will induct 16 of these indigenous helicopters, that will enhance preparedness towards coastal surveillance and search and rescue operations. The Indian Army Chief has visited the Eastern Ladakh sector, and he reviewed India's operational preparedness in the strategically key sectors. 
Chinese Army has announced that it has inducted 10 air defense units of the Army into the Chinese Air Force Command in a region bordering India, and this new joint defense units was also tried out in an exercise. Chinese Army has also replaced its 4th and 6th Division with 8th Motrice Division and 11th Highland Division in the occupied Aksai-Chin region.